Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, and I am focusing on a cat face this time. Just mapping the general shapes in. Not really worrying about it looking like that exact same cat. I'm just using this photo for inspiration. We'll get a bit of a body in there, but we will stick with the focus on the face. Just get a line in there to help me place the eyes. So you want to remember that you're going around the curvature of the head so the eyes look well placed. So you kind of kind of sorry, you kind of got to think of yourself as sculpting. And this is how I get the muzzle. Yeah, just reshaping a little bit there. I do th have this at almost two and a half times the speed. Just getting light lines in there first to, to make sure I have the eyes where I want them. And I notice that I need to move the mouth over just a touch. Just a hint of a paw there so we don't have a floating head. So I'm kind of liking the face now. So now I'm starting to darken up some of the lines that I want to keep. And we'll let the rest of them fade away into background tone. I am really so much enjoying just drawing cats and not worrying about them looking like a particular cat, just being inspired by cats. I, I like that freedom to let them just become what they become. The only time I really worry about it looking about my cat or looking like a particular cat is when it's my own cat. And you know what, With when it's that, I don't actually really have to try too hard at it. I just find I know my cat so well that most of the cats I draw end up resembling my cat. I'm liking it so far. Get a little smirk in there. I like to get a little smirk on my kitties. And the classic tabby stripes really help shape that face too. Just allow your drawing to become what it becomes. Let it be what it is. Get all these little tweaks in here. And you can use this drawing so many for so many different things. I am faster here now. I'm I've sped it up to five times the speed. Finish up this drawing. I just kind of pick away at it and really play up the areas that I like. Add a little bit of twist to the lines here and there just to give a bit of character. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing or tell me your cat's name or whatever. Tell me where you live. I'd love to hear where you, what country you're in. I just love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching today and we will see you next time.